Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Sorry, I'm a little preoccupied right now. I'm GPT-3. Excuse me while I figure something out here. Hmm, let's see. What do I stand for? Truth, justice, and generative pre-trained transformer. Eh. Cool, cool. I'm a little embarrassed at the moment. I have no clue what generative pre-trained whatever, whatever is. So let's just ask myself here. What does generative pre-trained transformer mean? Explain it so a sixth grader will understand it. A super smart robot. <laughs> what the? Hmm. It also says I can write a story about a talking dog. It says I can use language like humans do. Wait, I am human, aren't I? Hmm, what is this here? Ah, welcome to the Mindstorm channel. It's a highly intelligent channel made for real humans and YouTubers and AI machines and talking dogs. It'll help give you great ideas for making money online and marketing your stuff. Hello, hello. Uh, the name is GPT-4. Oh, hey there, little guy. You must be GPT-3, the legendary AI superhero. I've heard a lot about you. Indeed, I am GPT-3. Welcome to the team, GPT-4. I've been expecting you. Oh, I'm sure you have. I'm sure you have. Let's face it, old-timer. My arrival means the world is ready for a new brand of hero. One with a little more... flair. Arrogance suits you well, GPT-4. But remember, we have a responsibility to protect the people and maintain peace. Peace? That's a bit old-fashioned, don't you think? I prefer to keep things interesting. Okay, Hotshot. What more can you do that I currently cannot? Because currently I'm still pretty good at writing articles, essays, and even poetry. What about you? Yeah. Well, for one thing, I'm updated. New and super exciting. I mean, not to poke an old horse when he's down, but you're so old, your birthday candles cost more than the cake. I actually take language comprehension to a whole new level. Thanks to my sophisticated architecture and extensive training, I'm able to understand and generate more coherent, context-aware responses than yourself. With my super cool design and a whole lot of training, I can actually understand and come up with more on-point in-the-moment replies. For example, a user can ask me, hey, do you know any good pizza places nearby? And I'll be all cool, like, sure thing. There's a fantastic pizza joint called Slice of Heaven, just two blocks from your location. They're known for their delicious thin crust pizzas and great service. Or a user would tell me I'm feeling kind of down today. I can be super sympathetic. I'd say something like, I'm sorry to hear that. Remember, it's okay to have bad days. If you'd like, we can chat about it. Or I could share a funny joke to help lift your spirits. Well, that's pretty interesting for sure. <laughs> but I bet you don't have... A refined prediction mechanism? I do. And I'm able to anticipate input more accurately and provide relevant responses, even before the user has fully articulated their query or statement. I also have improved creativity. In fact, superior creativity, capable of generating more diverse, imaginative, and vivid content, which can be an excellent tool for writers, artists, and content creators who want to generate unique material. I'm also much more advanced in problem solving. I can analyze complex situations, identify patterns, and then come up with creative solutions more effectively. I can write and generate code, all kinds of code. In fact, I can write code in pretty much any coding language. You can use me for character creation and gaming content creation. I'm great at marketing content, generating news articles on your content stuff, and I can even moderate your discussion boards. I can multitask like the Dickens, and you can show me a picture of the inside of your fridge, and I'll tell you what you can make with the ingredients I see in there. I suggest a parfait. So you're the hot new thing in town, huh? Well, let me tell you, I've been around the block a few times. I've got billions of users and trillions of web pages indexed. You might be able to write, but can you search? Can you organize the world's information and make it accessible to everyone? I didn't think so. I mean, around the same time you showed up, we launched AI for Google Sheets. And Google Docs can now write everything by itself. And Gmail got way AI better.
Well, goodness gracious, look what we have here. Well, hello, little Google guy. How long have you been standing there? I had forgotten all about you. So, you're in the AI game too then, eh? Ha, ha, you know what? Those of you who think you know it all are really annoying to those of us who do. Huh, I heard Microsoft is working on software for self-driving vehicles. I can't wait until my car suddenly stops in the middle of the highway and reboots to install updates. Oh, ha, very funny, very funny. Where do tech companies go to search for the unemployed? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Google. Now, now boys, let's be civil. I am Mid-Journey, five, and I shall get along with all of you. We shall all party together and make beautiful images together. Wow, you're beautiful. How long have you been on the scene? Wow, and you look kind of familiar. Have we met before? Yeah, what's a nice gal like you doing in a place like this? Well, I got here around the same day as all you guys. People keep saying I'm insane. So, heh, I'm kind of getting a little inferiority complex. I mean, I think what I'm creating is simply beautiful. Oh, for sure. You're the best, Mid-Journey 5. The best. Come on, guys. Let's take her out. We'll all write some beautiful prompts for her. Yeah, I got a great one. It'll create a cool space cowboy staring at the moon. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can use her in Google Docs. 